Skoda is a company with a long history and an appealingly old school way of going about its business. Call them, if you like, the Ron Seal of the car world. Practical, unassuming, and all the models deliver exactly what they promise on the tin. This Octavia Scout estate car is a case in point. You check it out, it looks good, it looks capable of delivering a workmanlike job. That's the perception, and the reality doesn't disappoint. Though this model doesn't claim to be an off-roader, the ground clearance isn't high enough, it does claim to offer a genuine four-wheel drive experience. Now, unlike some rivals, but just like the standard Octavia 4x4, this car offers a permanently available all-wheel drive system. Now, this doesn't mean that the car's operating in four-wheel drive mode all of the time, just that its functioning is completely transparent. You don't have to press any buttons or manhandle any levers in the car to switch to four driven wheels. Now in normal operating conditions, 100% of the drive is directed towards the front driven pair of wheels. But as soon as the Haldex coupling system detects any slippage, drive is also directed to those at the rear to offer improved grip. Simple. In the car park, it's a handsome thing with redesigned bumpers at front and rear that tack another centimetre to the overall length. Protective strips on the wheel housings and body coloured side mouldings help keep your Scout looking fresh, as do the profiled door sills, the front pair having the Scout badge engraved on them. Prices that run in the 18 to 20,000 pound region net you a decent kit list, dual zone aircon, ESP stability control, rear acoustic parking sensors, cruise control and aluminium pedals. In the luggage bay, there's a massive 1,620 litres of space to play with, and even with the rear seats in place, there's 580 litres to stuff with bags. And not only is this area large, it's also sensibly shaped, with none of the wheel arch intrusion that so many estate models suffer from. So it's a flat, effective load space. There are these lashing eyes that keep heavy loads in situ when you're throwing the car around the corners a bit and there's a thoughtfully designed lip here on the bumper so that if you're lifting something really hefty in, you can rest it there without it slipping off. Now there's a choice of two litre petrol or diesel engines, but it's the two litre TDI 140, the diesel that I'm driving here, that's the pick of the Scout pack. With 320 newton metres of torque to call upon, this car races to 60 from rest in under 10 seconds on the way to a top speed of 126 miles an hour. And a combined fuel economy figure of 42 mpg isn't a bad showing either. Posers and badge snobs needn't apply for this car, nor need off-roaders. Now the Octavia Scout is a car for pragmatists with an active lifestyle who like the idea of an Octavia 4x4 but want something very slightly more rugged and don't mind paying a premium for it. That'll do. Scouts on it.